secret location in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Give me a darn break. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's every kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Right down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Here we are together again on the radio. And uh, congratulations to our associate producer, Dean J. D'Amelio. <laughs> he is moving. He's going to be moving now. He's going to be... Uh, yes. He's going to be uh, headquartered in uh, the city, the beautiful city of West Hollywood, California. Yes. And uh, we get have a special proclamation, actually. The mayor of West Hollywood, uh, Mr. Art Deco, is going to be here to uh, to welcome Dean. It's going to be Dean D'Amelio Day. Sweet. Yes, and uh, that's going to be very exciting. They're going to shut down Santa Monica Boulevard to welcome Dean. We're very excited. Dean's new zip code, by the way. Look it up. 90069. <laughs> By the way, I'd like to know what jokester got the federal government to give West Hollywood 90069 as a zip code. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that West Hollywood is the home of one of my favorite streets in the area, Dick Street. <laughs> Dean will be just north of Dick Street. <laughs> it's very exciting. Did By the way, have you ever, the mayor, Art Deco, he's uh, with a name like that, how could you lose in West Hollywood, for God's sake? Very excited about having a member of the Tom Likas show living in the community. And what I'm waiting for, you know what I'm waiting for? <laughs> We're all going to follow Dean home on Halloween. <laughs> Looking forward to that. So uh, keep your eyes open, boys. <laughs> Dean D'Amelio is coming to West Hollywood. <laughs> You can never have too many Italians in Boy Scout. Yes, anyway. And by the way, Dean's no homophobe, but he's here going, so you're telling me I couldn't just put Los Angeles, California, 90069, I wouldn't get my mail? No, you have to put West Hollywood, they won't deliver it. And a rainbow stamp. Before Dean signed the lease, I guess he never thought that we would be making merciless fun of him once he moves to West Hollywood. I'm sure he'll be welcome with open arms, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. West Hollywood celebrates diversity. They'll even have Dean J. D'Amelio living there. Very exciting. Uh, Dean now is going to have to cancel those plans to declaw his cat, though. <laughs> That's right. That's illegal. Can't do that at West Hollywood. He could break out those tight shorts he's been... That, that, that's exactly right. Well, he's, He wears the tight shorts when he's not here. We We know that. I've seen video on YouTube. I'm wondering why he's been doing these push-ups. <laughs> he's preparing to move to West Hollywood. I, I hadn't thought about that. Get in shape. <laughs> it's 
They got standards in West Hollywood. He's on the Atkins diet. He's doing push-ups. He's getting ready. Oh, yes. Dana's saying, oh, and damn, he was excited that it was only going to be 4.1 miles from work. <laughs> Think of the things you're going to be 0. 0.3 miles from. <laughs> He's got an appointment for a colonostomy next week. <laughs> it gives uh, GPS a whole new meaning. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I know we've got many of our gay friends who uh, who, who live in the nine double zero six nine. Now we tell we tell. By the way, we tell guys not to have cell phones with certain area codes. I would say for Dean, don't give any women your mailing address. <laughs> that would not be a good idea. Where do you live? Um. I'm uh, Los Angeles adjacent. <laughs> I live uh, north of uh, Santa Monica Boulevard. <laughs> oh, my. Anyway. Oh, th this is ripe for material. This is... This is good. I hope he's having a housewarming party. I want to meet the neighbors. Oh, my. Anyway, uh, here we are. With <laughs> it's like it's 101. <laughs> Wait a minute, Graham, what did you want to say there? I'm sorry. <laughs> Graham? Uh, Tom, it's Glenn. How are you? Oh, Glenn, yes. I'm just laughing. I'm dying. <laughs> I just called Dean. I actually didn't even really need to talk to you, but since I am, nice to talk to you. Yes. But, uh, yeah, he's just giving him hell, and it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> he honestly did that. He came in during the break, and he said, well, what if I just tell people to put Los Angeles, California, 90069? It's like, no, 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 no. Depends. They're not the going to deliver the mail. No, if you don't put West Hollywood, they're not going to, because West Hollywood is a city. Now, can you abbreviate West and just put W and hope he fakes out some people? <laughs> Maybe you just put W-H-C-A. <laughs> yeah, but we'll all know. Hope it gets there. <laughs> hey, blow me up, Tom. Here you go, baby. <laughs> Look for the areas. Fill that space, all right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Love it. All right, uh, here we are. Like us 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. We also teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Mark on Like us 101 with your professor. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. How the heck are you, Tom? Doing great. Wow. Let me tell you, every man, boy, and child should uh, find your radio station, and this should be programmed in their head forever. Because of you, I threw a Hail Mary in a relationship where I got some chick pregnant, and I did exactly how you told me, exactly how you tell everybody. You play the part, you spend time with them, you do whatever it takes, and as soon as they get that, you just cut them loose and you shake them. And, baby, I owe my life to you because now I am Very nice. I, got, I, shook, I shook her, and I'm so excited because I followed exactly what you said. And I'm not a dumb guy. I graduated college. I, I, I thought I was on the right track. But you know what? Sometimes you, you make a mistake, but it's how you get out of mo those mistakes that, that uh, is important. Now, hopefully you learn from your mistake and you don't do that again. No more sex without a condom. You can't do it. Uh, well, I, the funny thing is, Tom, is I, I use a condom, so I'm not sure what happened there. I mean, I must have fallen out of that 99.9% .9 or what have you. Unless that or who knows? Who knows who else she was banging? Exactly. And, you know, when I asked her for a maternity test, the girl just started getting crazy, asking uh, why would I even bring something like this up, 
Uh, <laughs> she's the only one. But I, I figured that they all do that. But, but she but had the abortion? She did. She did. And then how did she react after you dumped her ass? <laughs> Let me tell you, Tom. She stood there with her mouth open. Tears just came rolling out. <laughs> rolling out and of course you get the why why are you doing this why did you do this why are you doing this to me i thought you loved me <laughs> exactly exactly however i did have to say that i did spend four hundred dollars but let me tell you that was the best four hundred dollars oh absolutely can spend absolutely the best investment you ever made Exactly. And as my friend always tells me, it's better to get prepaid than to do long term. And now I'm on a prepaid plan with every girl that I'm with. I got the area code, just like you said, and I follow exactly what you say. And it works. It really does. I love that. By the way, did you get her the Egg McMuffin? Oh, no, no, no. I said, you know what? I'm not even. I, you know what I did, to be honest with you? I went to her parents' house, and that's where I broke up with her. Really? I did. Did she the parents uh, get involved? Did they try to do anything? Her parents were there. Her parents were there. Her mom came storming out of the house as I was walking out, grabbed me by the shirt, and said, why did you leave my daughter? Why did you do this? <laughs> Tom, they, they just don't get it. The wild women are the same. Her dad looked at me through the windows, and he just shook his head, and he just walked away. He probably wanted to give you a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so thank you very much, Tom. Everybody should listen to exactly what you say, and if they do follow it to the T, then it'll work, period. That, that's it. I love it. Can you take me out with a bong hit and a screaming orgasm? I certainly can, Mark. Here you go. Oh, oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Dumb, 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 dumb like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. My ex called me the other day. She was saying, oh, I'm having problems. I need to talk. It's been two years. She has two guys who she doesn't know who the, her baby father could be. And that would have been me, too, if it wasn't for Likus 101. It's Likus 101 on the Tom Likus Show. I like his show. What was he telling you was gigantic, Gary? Zane was just in here telling you something was gigantic. All I know is he's moving to 90069 and something's gigantic. Okay. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's like us 101. I am your professor. Let's say hello here. Drew is listening to the online stream in Houston on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi, Drew. How's it going, Prof? It's going great. All right, good. I just want to tell you a little story. All right. All right, it was uh, back in December. I'd been with this girl for probably a year or so, and you know, I got attached. Basically, whenever I got in college, I forgot all of the stuff I had learned in high school. And um, basically what she did, she went off and got pregnant with another guy. And, you know, that hurt me. That really did. You know, we called it quits right there. I didn't even try. And I was in a little slump. And one of my friends who also listened to the show turned me on to you. Said, hey, man, you got to listen to this guy. He'll tell you how to get back in the game. I did that. Man, I've been hopping from girl to girl. I mean, I thank you for that. Oh, I love that. Yes. I mean, uh, you know, I'd go with one, and, you know, all I'd have to tell her was, you know, oh, I play guitar, and I didn't have to give her any gifts or anything like that she's the guitar was just my little trick right there and you know, they just fall over that then i go bam okay bye move on to the next one and right now i'm with one that's a little bit older than me that i met at a bar and i'm 22 she's 27 and man that's just the best i've ever had so far wow I'm still, I'm still looking is that so yeah how great is that oh i love it i love it i'm proud of you good work I mean, if I hadn't listened to you, I wouldn't know what to do. As I, re I was really in a little downward slope right there, right after a little pregnancy thing. But the thing is, you got off easy. Yes, I did. That could have been you. Exactly. Exactly. What if that happened? I don't know. I, I really don't even want to think about it. It's just in my past. You don't want that. No. 
Jesus. I mean, my God, you should be you should be down on your knees. Exactly. That, that she had the baby with somebody else and not you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm amazed that guys get jealous about this kind of thing. Somebody else is paying that bill. Yep. And she ran off with him, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's the best thing that ever happened to you. Exactly. exactly. And she's still trying to come back to me, you know, trying to get me in her life. I'm just like, you know, don't talk to me. <laughs> what does she want you in her life for? What about the uh, new uh, boyfriend? Oh, she hides me from her, even though she wants to be my friend and talk to me. You know, I just blow her off. Yeah, well, what's in it for you? Nothing. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. No, no, she made her bed, and now she's going to have to lie in it. Uh, and I'm... I'm making my own bed right now, and oh, yeah. I, I love lying in it. I, I'm I'm lying in them. I'm not making many of them. Yep. <laughs> oh, but, man, this new girl, absolutely crazy. Oh, I can just tell you, last weekend was you know the first time, and I still have all the scratch marks. Who's that? Really? Yeah. How great is that? Yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am proud, Drew. What can I say? Thank, thank God for the Internet, huh? Yeah, thank God. Thank God for state. Right. See, none of your stations in Houston will run our show, and look at all the guys who could use this kind of information. Exactly. I, 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 all I have to do is I walk around campus, and my friends are like, Drew, how are you just getting all these girls? What What are you doing? And I go, like it's 101, baby. They have no clue. No clue. Exactly. Well, thank you uh, so much for that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Are we uh, linking to this, Karen? <laughs> show it to the whole class. You don't you can't be laughing there. You have to show it to the whole class now. I'm ready to rock. Put that right up on. Uh, put it up on the website right now. <laughs> By the way, is that a mailing address, Karen? <laughs> if I sent a letter to that address, would it get there? Now, if you're going to be laughing in the background, you have to post that to the website so everybody can see it. I'm doing it right now. All right. Look at that cast. Starring Rico Suave. Yes. Gary's doing a little zip code research here, and uh, we're posting this to blowmeuptom.com right now if you want to get a look. Uh, it'll be up there any second now. If it isn't up already. All right. <laughs> You'll learn a little bit about Dean's new zip code. Gary went and got some information. 1-800-5800-TOM. <laughs> that is our telephone number. <laughs> Let's say hi to uh, Eric on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Go on, Tom. I'm doing okay. I got a quick story, quick breakdown for you. Uh, one of our boys, one of our friends, uh, he's been hooked up with this girl, and she, now she's pregnant. She's uh, two months pregnant, and we've all been with her. About five of us have all been with this girl. And he's the richest out of all of us. He makes the most money. And uh, found out she was pregnant and ended up wanting to keep the kid with her and because uh, she convinced him, obviously. And we are trying to convince him that, She's only wants him for his money, and he needs to do a Hail Mary, which he doesn't even know what a Hail Mary is. So we're trying to explain it to him, and we really didn't know the exact definition of a Hail Mary, and he doesn't want to listen to it, but I needed him to listen to you because you're the man. Is he there now? He is not, but he is definitely listening. We got him All on the right. radio. We called him, and he's on the radio listening. But uh, Now, I'll explain it, but uh, will he take my advice if I give it, or will he? Uh, what will he do? He will definitely take the advice, and if he doesn't, we've been writing him for the last month and a half trying to get him to do this. And if, obviously, if he's going to listen to you to turn the radio on, he's thinking about it. All right. Well, uh, thank you for the call. The Hail Mary, which we referred to uh, earlier this hour, is a technique that uh, I have uh, perfected and I have taught on the air. And I've, uh, by the way, also a method I've used, to be honest, because I've paid for several abortions, and one of them... Uh, was a doozy. She was uh, not going to give up. And I had to use the Hail Mary, and it worked. And uh, after that, I just continued to refine and perfect. But uh, when your girl won't have an abortion and you don't want to have a baby, 
Uh, you have to take it to uh, DEFCON 5. And the way you do that is you go to your girl and you say, uh, Honey, I love you. But we're not ready to have a kid right now. We don't have the money. We don't have a nice house. Don't I mean, how did, this isn't the way you dreamed of having a baby, is it? Don't you want to have a house with a white picket fence and a nursery painted pink or blue and have the money to properly educate, feed, clothe that kid? I mean, obviously, I you know how I feel about you. I love you very much. And one day we will have children. I mean, I guarantee you, we're, we're, I'm going to marry you, and uh, it's on, on the line. Uh, we are going to have children, but in the right order, at the right time. It just makes more sense. Wouldn't it make more sense to have money put away? You want to have the proper prenatal care? You want to have a, a, a great place to live? You want to be in a good school district? You really want to do it this way? I don't think so. We want to wait until later. So, uh, you know, we're in this together, and I think that, uh, that you have the abortion now, and then down the line we will get married and we will have children the proper way. Now, it's called the Hail Mary for a reason. I mean, the odds are against you. There's a few seconds left of the game, and you're down by a touchdown, and you've got to fling that football all the way down the field, and it's highly unlikely you're going to connect for a pass. However, this is the last best hope you have. If you get her to agree to have the abortion, you immediately set the appointment at the closest, uh, most convenient abortion clinic to your home. You make sure you drive her down there. Now, you don't want her to know that you're driving down to make sure she got the abortion. You tell her that you care about her and you just want to be there for her. And so you wouldn't have it any other way. You're going to take her in. You're going to sit out, wait outside while she has it. You're going to pay for the abortion. It'll be the best four or five hundred bucks you ever spent. After she's had the abortion, she'll be in a little bit of pain. She'll be a little woozy. And then what we do just the uh, icing on the cupcake. We take her to uh, McDonald's for the Egg McMuffin. And, uh, of course, that means she has to have the abortion before 10.30 a.m. Because uh, that's that's when they stop serving breakfast at McDonald's. I know because I'm a regular patron of McDonald's. I love it dearly. And uh, that's what you do. You get her the egg McMuffin. You take her home. You put her under the covers. Wrap her in the covers. Prop up her pillows. Tell her, here, you just rest right here. And then once you've got her in that bed, once you've got her immobilized, then you turn to her and you say, I'm out of here. Goodbye. And you dump that bitch. How dare she scare you with something like that? You dump her ass, you get the hell out of there. That's what you do. It does work. That's it. Hope you do it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Like is 101 with your professor, Dave, on the Tom Like is show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Not much, Dave. Long time, first time, buddy. Thank you, sir. How you been? I have been fantastic. That's good to hear. <clears throat> well, you ready for my story, Tom? No, let me, uh, wait, let me gird my loins. <laughs> I hope you're ready. All, all right. right, all right, I'm ready. <laughs> all right, now that you're ready, great. Okay, been dating this girl for about a year, okay? Uh, pretty, pretty serious thing, um... You know, the love came into, you know, I love you, she loves me, back and forth like that. And uh, she's coming over, all my family gatherings, everything, you know, meeting my family, getting real close with all my my brothers and sisters and my mom and my dad and everything. And uh, I, I think everything's going good. And then up until about two weeks ago, um, I find out through her roommate that she got engaged to another guy over Christmas. <laughs> So uh, she's a real bitch. Man. Wow. So now, now, here's the deal. What do you need a girlfriend for? That, that's a good question, Tom, because let me tell you. I mean, I've been, like I said, long time, first time, and I was prescribing by Lycus 101, man, 100%. And, I mean, I was just, I mean, I, I found this girl, you know, I mean, dating her, you know, for a long time. I mean, everything, I mean, I thought everything was perfect because, I mean, there wasn't no, like, you know, I have to go here and be here. I mean, I hung out with my friends. I did what I wanted to do. She was fine with that. And now, all of a sudden, it's like, man, this whole time, that's insane. Well, I uh, I completely understand, and it's time for you now to start uh, realizing that uh, there is no need if you have a girlfriend or a fiancé or a wife. You don't need it. 
hey, hey, you're you're right. I'm starting to think that more and more, man. It's insane. Yeah. Here's here's my question to you. All right, the, this is where I want I want your input here. All right, her family I, I don't think knows anything about me. Okay, like I think they just I think they're snowed, and so is her fiance. Because like I called the the way I finally got her to admit it to me. Because like after I told her that her roommate uh, told me all this stuff, she kept denying it and denying it until she told me his name. I got on the internet, found the guy, got his name and number. All right, and I called him up and asked him. He's like, yeah. And so I told him I was like, dude, I've been seeing this girl since May. And he didn't believe me, you know. He was like, whatever, you're lying, blah, 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 because apparently she's just a super liar. I mean, it don't get much better than her, I guess. And so I want to know, I want to be vindictive here. Tell me no, how No, you don't. No, no, no. I don't believe in that. You don't? No, I don't. Uh, the uh, Living well is the best revenge. The best thing that can happen to you is that she gets married and has kids and gets stuck with this guy in some boring marriage while you uh, save your money from not having any bitch being your girlfriend and uh, you're having fun and you're uh, banging everything, everybody in town. You're having a great time and she's miserable. So you think I should just, you know, not, I should let her try and have her little storybook marriage here and not there's nothing you know, not, story it's only storybook in your mind you don't know what's going on over there true you have no idea marriage is hell <laughs> good point it is so you think i should just let it go and not not do anything about it then just be like whatever uh, that that would be my attitude you <laughs> you dodged a bullet yeah I mean, that, that's true. I did dodge a bullet because, I mean, man, if it went any farther. You're like the other guy. He was jealous that his chick, uh, the, the guy from Houston who called in, the guy whose chick uh, went and had a baby with somebody else, he was jealous. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's fantastic. That could have been him. Yeah, that's that's, that's for sure. That's, that could have been me. It could have been a lot worse. It's just I can't, I can't shake this feeling of, like, like, I really want something like, I mean, I want her to feel the way I felt whenever I first found out. You know what I'm saying? I do. But, again, uh, think how she'll feel when she's miserably married and you are deliriously happy and unmarried. <laughs> good point, good point. Uh, there's no better revenge than that. Believe me, do you know how many chicks? I, I, I There's one. Her, her initials are J.M. Uh-huh. She lives in New York City. And she's the one who, when I was between jobs, she called me at work and told me that she'd thrown all my furniture and all my possessions into the hallway of an apartment building in New York City and that she had changed the locks. Oh, man. And she told me, here's what she said, call me when you get a better job. <laughs> Now, I happen to know, because I did some research, J.M. is still unmarried, uh -huh. still has no children, uh, is uh, going to be the cat lady. She's going to be the spinster from hell. <laughs> and uh, she's still living in her same little rent-controlled apartment that I lived in with her way back when. Well, did you call her when you made your first movie? Oh, no, no. It got better. <laughs> One night, I appeared on 2020. <laughs> And I was at my office at the radio station, and my phone rings the next day. Uh-huh. And it's her. <laughs> and here's what she said to me. She said, I saw you on 2020. It was great. She said, do you ever get to New York? <laughs> I said, I certainly do. She said, we, sh we should get together. N uh, no. No, thanks. <laughs> You told me to get a better job. Well, I did. <laughs> oh, man. So, so, uh, get, yes, so that but, was pretty sweet for you. But then. see, I dodged a bullet. I could have been living at that, that one-bedroom, rent-controlled apartment with her in New York City. I could have been there. Stuck. Good point. Thank God she threw me out. Are you kidding me? Thank God. <laughs> it was a blow to my ego back then. Thank God she did it. Yeah, that's a good point, man. I mean that that's I mean that was the biggest thing for me, I think. She I has felt, to I see me so she has to see me now on television. 
She has to see me uh, in the newspaper. She has to hear about me on the Internet. <laughs> Hell, the show was on in New York City for uh, a couple of, you know, five or six months at a time, two different times. Mm -hmm. And she's got to live with it. Yes, she does. I'm hoping that's what happens here, man. I'll tell you what. Well, that is exactly what's going to happen. Now, if you play it that way, you're going to stop being a puppy dog, feeling sorry for yourself, yeah. and start living a great life. Nothing will make her more miserable than to have you be happier than she is. That's, that's some good advice there, man. And trust me, uh, one week after that wedding, when the honeymoon is over, the honeymoon is over in more ways than one. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> Good point. Hang on a second, Dave. Mike, what did you want to say here to Dave? Hey, Dad. Yeah, I've been a long-time listener since my son was born. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm from Texas and everything else. I'm from Dallas. And to be honest with you, this guy sounds more like a pussy to me than anything else. Because, I mean, really, he's crying over some girl that done left him to go marry some other guy. Sounds to me like she shaved, you know, a lot of him. Well, I'm, it's not that I'm crying about it, man. It's just I called in for the main point of trying to get Tom's advice on really wanting to just tell him what went on and then get what, what, What's the on point on revenge, man? She done saved your ass. Yeah. I'm sorry for my language, but she done saved you. Yeah. I, I mean, mean I, I have a kid, and he's that. on my own, and it's me and him. And if it wasn't for me listening to Tom, I wouldn't have the girl that's paying for my place, my yeah. son. And me right now. Yeah. So screw revenge, man. Yeah. What's the point of revenge? You got saved. You sat there. You said it was serious and everything else. Yeah. Maybe what are you trying to do? You trying to nestle down and tie the ropes up? Yeah, that's a I, that's a good point, man. I, I see what you're saying. Uh, anyway, Tom, love you. You're the man. Mike, thank you. Dave, thank you as well. Good luck to both of you. Like this. Like 1 800 5800 Tom. Like 1 800 5800 866. Please, man, listen. Listen. Tie yourselves up. Go put a condom on. Pay attention. Women are sick. It's the Tom Likey Show. Southern California's FM Talk Station. 97.1. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. <laughs> Likas 101, I am your professor. By the way, if you're going to blow me up, Tom.com, you can learn all about Dean's new uh, neighborhood. The new neighbors. And... Uh, <laughs> They're going to be having a lot of fun over there. Tell you what. I'm looking forward to this. 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay. Let's say hello here to uh, Joey on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. What's up, man? Not much. Hey, I got a story for you about dodging bullets. Let me tell you this one. So about two years ago, I went out with a girl from East Texas. I'm from Dallas. And, um, uh, you know, we were together for about, you know, six months or so. Then she started talking about marriage and kids and all that. I said, you know what? I'm out. Through the deuces. Was done. Two months after that, get a phone call from her wanting congratulations that she's pregnant. Since it's been about two months, I pretty much knew it wasn't mine. Gave her her props and everything. Well, now, about an hour and a half ago, I got the uh, picture message from her with the engagement ring from the other guy. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, baby. I'm about to go out and celebrate now. What a lucky man you are. Yes, I am the luckiest dude ever right now. <laughs> you know, it's so amazing how guys, like you heard the guy earlier who called in. Who was like, oh, yeah. he was jealous. He was jealous that his, his girl had had a baby with somebody. It's like, are you kidding me? Oh, no. That's the bullet to be dodged right there. That's the best. It was great, Tom. Hey, can you take me out with a bong hit in Kobe style? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, it beats in my heart. Yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to, uh, look at this. Mm. Harley is listening to the online stream from Phoenix on Lagos 101. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I would like to thank you for saving my dad's bank account and my life. How so? Well, over the summer, I had gotten with a girl for about six months. And uh, I had talked to her over text message, so on and so forth, because she went to her cousin in Michigan for the rest of the summer after we met. School starts. She begs me for uh, lunch. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. A couple months later, still buying lunch for her, but I'm getting something out of her, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But, <laughs> but uh, I'd gotten everything I wanted out of her. She did exactly whatever I told her to do. And uh, about a week ago, she had decided to bro break up with me and go to my best friend, or was my best friend. I'm over here singing hallelujah, and now my friend is being used by her, and he's, he's completely blind to it. And today, she had tried to uh, screw me over at school. What she had done, she said that she forwarded some pictures to me that were uh, of not of legal status, and uh, proved to my principal and everybody else in the uh, administration that I had, no had that I had nothing. So I get off the hook. But uh, unfortunately, one of my other friends, uh, he had been called down in the office because they told the vice principal some BS and said that uh, I had forwarded some of the pictures to him. So he goes down, proves that he's innocent, but he gets a week of suspension. So. That's really messed up with the administration, but that's not what I'm here to call about. I wanted to thank you for your teachings of of uh, just what women do and how to avoid all of it. And so, now you're not going to make the mistakes your dad made, for example, right? Oh, hell no. But my dad wasn't exactly the biggest uh, pussy in the world either. He had uh, divorced my mom what, 10 years ago, I think. And uh, he had, she had moved to Indiana. She had called me a couple of times, and uh, she died after 9-11. So not exactly the best times for me, but, hey, that's the natural part of life. But uh, he hasn't been with a girl since, <laughs> and I know he's not getting anything out of anybody, so... Well, I am uh, proud of you, Harley, and I thank you. I really thank you. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Pablo on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing, man? Doing great. Tom, let me tell you about myself. I mean, I live in Las Vegas. You could tell that I do have an accent because yeah. originally I come from Cuba. I'm listening to your show. I just, you know, happen to be 97.1 just by chance, and it's amazing that somebody had that philosophy, because that's my philosophy. I can, you know, you think about this. I can't believe, you know, how can a man be a millionaire and get married? I mean, marriage is the, the worst decision that a guy can make. And I always say, how, you know, I see a lot of my friends, they have a lot of money, man, and they're married. And what is, what is funny is that they envy my lifestyle. And I always say, why do you get married? And, you know, if you have all this money, Marriage is, you want. marriage is I, for poor people. I mean, I just think about that. I mean, I say, how can you be smart enough to make a million dollars and make the type of decision after that you're going to take your money away? Because if you get married and you get divorced, your wife is going to take most of your money. That's but right. The thing is that once you make a lot of money, you're going to be attracting a lot of beautiful women. What is the purpose of being a millionaire and having only one woman? You explain that to me. <laughs> I love it. Pablo, thanks so much for calling our email address, Tom, at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.